Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Good morning and greetings to you my dear friend. In Jesus name I would like to greet you and I'd like to tell you that you are covered by the presence of the Lord. Today irrespective of all the challenges that you may be facing all the attacks that you may be experiencing in your spirit all the difficulties that there are in your life the lord is still working for you the lord is still making sure that you will come out on top you will have victory in every step you will have answers in every situation there will be no circumstances no challenges that you are faced with today that doesn't have some beautiful purpose behind it god knows how to make all things work together for the good for the benefit for the blessing of those who love him let me tell you the story of john the baptist this was a man who faithfully fearlessly and very loyally served god and the story goes on to say how he got beheaded by king herod and that's also not because he did something against herod he was preaching the word of god he was telling him how bad his sin is and because of which his wife was really upset with him and ultimately herod's wife made sure that john the baptist is beheaded and you and i would read that story and would think that's it nobody is going to talk about john the baptist now nobody is going to worry about this guy anymore let me read another scripture for you this is luke chapter 9 and verse 9 the bible says this is in fact herod speaking he says i beheaded john i killed him i gave the orders i saw him i witnessed the beheading of john but now who is this man about whom i hear such stories he was in fact referring to jesus who was now doing greater things than what john had done and herod was confused he was thinking how is it that the same grace that i witnessed upon john is continuing to manifest in my nation in my city in my people how is it that the same revival that used to take place during john's ministry continues to take place today in the ministry of jesus herod was shocked and surprised to the core because he thought when he kills john the story is over And sometimes I'm telling you your enemy will make a mistake of thinking that if he can just steal your money you're going to be done with it you're not going to serve God anymore you're going to be unable to love God because you don't have the resources or the material benefits that you are supposed to receive from God sometimes he thinks that relationships is everything for you if he can just isolate you push you into a corner kill all of your relationships then that's it nothing good is going to come out of it after this sometimes he may even go to the extent of saying i will kill this john i will behead him i will take his life out of this planet and he may think that that's it that is the final nail in the coffin nothing can bring him back after this but the truth that every child of god needs to remember is this that whatever is born of the spirit whatever is sustained by the spirit it does not have an expiry date it cannot die just because somebody tries to behead you it cannot die just because your finances are stolen from you it cannot die because you don't have the people or the resources or the time or the availability to do the same things that you wanted to do in the first place it says that jesus continued what john had started 
So if you are a child of God who is called by God and is serving God faithfully, fearlessly and with everything inside of you, then you can take this from me in writing that nothing that what you have started, nothing of what you have initiated, nothing of what you have pioneered, it could be a marriage, it could be a church ministry, it could be a career option, it could be something temporary or it can be something which has eternal consequences but it will not die even if you had to be killed it will not die even if the enemy comes and tries to steal it from your hand the lord will raise people that can sustain what you have started and there will be a growth there will be a multiplication in fact it is going to cause a confusion in the enemy's camp and the enemy would be calling conferences to check we had killed this guy we had destroyed him how is it that he is still able to have an influence in our city we had thought that this is going to be the last of him how is it that there is still worship arising in his house how is it that there is still prayer happening from this person's private chambers we cannot seem to find a way to stop this guy from serving god even if we kill him he still continues to serve god and in fact herod was so mesmerized and astonished by this fact that the bible says herod he kept trying to meet jesus because he wanted to see how is it that a person that i killed is continuing to have his ministry grow in this nation even after he died even after he is no more here how is it that his work continues to be carried on now that's that's crazy but may that be said about you that even if you die your work will not die may every investment you make today may it outlive you may every word you speak today may it live longer than you can ever live because whatever is born of the spirit and is sustained by the spirit that does not have an expiry date it doesn't expire when your resources expire it doesn't expire when your physical body expires what you sustain in the spirit will be sustained for all eternity that is an encouragement for you do not give up don't look down on what you're doing today and may the lord cause his grace to shine in each and every area of your life god bless you thank you so much for tuning in we hope you're encouraged by today's podcast to know more about pastor preji or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area connect with us at pastorpreji.com we wish you a christ-filled day ahead